How to use Copilot in Microsoft Teams step by step. Hello everyone and welcome back. So we're going to be taking a look at Copilot and how we can use it in Microsoft Teams. And for years we are spending hours of our lives doing simple things in Microsoft Teams. But with the introduction of Microsoft 365 Copilot, we can now save those important hours and focus on the more important things as in this tutorial. We're going to be connecting Copilot. Copilot has capabilities where you can chat with Copilot just like you do with ChatGPT. You can summarize calendars, summarize key documents, and more. You can even create messages in team chats and channel conversations. And you can even summarize those lengthy chats into a few key points as well as checking out how we can now use the new sharing link capability to summarize your sharing links and also cover all the important meeting transcriptions and automatic meeting notes. So now, of course, before we dive in, I would make sure that you are subscribed to this channel for more content like this. Now, moving on, let's get started into accessing Copilot in Microsoft Teams or Microsoft 365. So I have Microsoft 365 logged on over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on apps on the left and then click on Copilot. And then it will be pinned on the right. You can choose to pin this so you have it accessible at any time from 365. And then you can proceed with Copilot. Now you will see Copilot is something that is pretty much going to serve you in a lot of different ways. You have the ability to understand trends. You can also explain, you know, a couple of different facts and hypothesize what it reveals. And that on socials, you have a lot of different capabilities given right ahead. And it offers very similar capabilities to ChatGPT, so it's going to feel very familiar. So although this is a tool that looks very familiar to ChatGPT, there are also a few prompts that Microsoft provides us with right from the start of the app. For example, I can get calendar information about when a meeting is with one of my colleagues. So the way that you can do this is by going into your chat and you can see over here, we have the ability to message on Copilot and we have the ability to find the right questions. So suggest some common questions that can be asked to get a retrospective started with my colleagues. So I wanted to access my calendar and check on when is my meeting with XYZ. I don't have any meetings scheduled actually, so I'm just going to see when I have a next meeting and whenever I have a meeting, but you can search for a particular colleague as well. Next, when I have my next meeting, I'm just going to add this over here. And just like that, it is going to, if I'm using the calendar dates and you can open the app and look at today's date to see your upcoming moon. If you want a specific calendar app, just let me know which you are using. So I use Outlook. You can go on ahead and proceed with the next, you know, the next bits and pieces of information. Now, from here, we're going to start connecting this to our actual Microsoft application because this is us using Microsoft Copilot in its, you know, basic utilities. We want to be able to use Microsoft Copilot as a tool that is connected or interlinked with the actual Microsoft Teams. So for that, you can see on the top right, this is going to be regular old, you know, you have your settings, you have your calendar info, you have your feedback info. Now you're going to go into your apps and when you go into apps in Microsoft Teams, so this is my Teams account over here. We're going to go into add apps and then we're just going to search for Copilot. And after you do that, you have Copilot for service and then Copilot for sales. You can click on add over here. You can click on add over here and this is going to supercharge your communication within Teams. So now I have Copilot for sales and we can get started by typing out our conversations. So this can include viewing approvals, Viva Learning, updates. You can also add praises for a certain team member. You can also schedule meetings, record video clips and set delivery options, scheduling message with the Copilot for sales within Microsoft Teams. So let's schedule a meeting directly from here. And if I just click on schedule a meeting, this will directly open up my new meeting section. Now I'm going to go back into Copilot and I'm just going to type in hi and I'm just going to be using in the basic functionality. So if I want to summarize my meetings, I can ask the Copilot to do it and you will see 
If I go into chat over here, you can see I have the chat card with the actual copilot itself. And if we go into one of our more active accounts, we would be able to use it, you know, in a bit more of its full functionality. But we have, you know, a couple of previous content. And you guys can see we have uh, an assignment we were meant to sign in, not hand it in. We can hand it in late. You can see you have a lot of different options with your regular old Microsoft, but we're going to be integrating the other version of Copilot as well because we want it to, you know, be super accessible. So if you add Copilot for service, the features and commands on that are going to be a bit different as compared to the features and commands for sales. And if I'll focus on selling, take care of the boring stuff, record your customer calls, then I can automatically create summaries and recaps of conversations. Now from here, you can attach a file, you can go on ahead and link to let's say approvals you can take a look at your approvals you can go on ahead and also record a video clip or schedule a message in your copilot now, these are all features that are you know integrated in the regular copilot but you can't get your data from the regular copilot but we're going to go back into 365 to see some of the other features that we have so over here we can start a chat and we are going to add or use copilot to summarize my meeting docs like this and so on and so forth you can upload your meeting docs over here and if you have teams you can use copilot in teams to let's say create action items during meetings like this so you guys can see it's going to build a response you can see you can start a meeting you can activate copilot during your meeting and then you can capture your actual action items currently i don't have any scheduled meetings so it's not able to be as efficient as it normally would the actual application is working great but i just don't have anything scheduled which is why it is looking a bit dry but that's all right we're gonna work with that we're gonna proceed so within Copilot, on the left, you even have the option to integrate polls, file browsers, YouTube, Meet. So, you know, your Meet section can be added here. And if I just do a new meeting over here, you can do it right now. We can click on Save and we can start a new meeting. We can even click on Meet now and we're going to click on Start Meeting. We can join with the audio. And after we do that, we can see over here, we can click on Apps here. And once we click on apps over here, we can integrate Copilot into even active meetings to further boost our productivity and efficiency. So we're going to search for it over here. So we have Copilot and we're going to use Copilot for sales like this. And then once we open this up, we can, you know, move towards actually making action items and doing all our work with an AI. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.